try to keep your nose forward. So you're here. Boom, boom, boom. Nice, chill, low, compact, no hops. Okay? Yes! Why do you think uh, um, we go middle regardless of if the defender's taken away middle or not? Anybody? I think baseline, they are all less often. Yeah. Uh, force baseline. That's yeah. That's often. Yeah, if you go baseline right away, your angles aren't as good as if the angle is much better. You're right in your answer. Your angle is much better. When you take him in, now he's, his job, his coach said, take away middle, okay? And now if you can bury him in here, he's taking away middle, you've got this whole space. Okay, you might have a drop baseline if he tries to go tip that pass for this, okay? Or he's jammed up really tight on the high side and you can spin baseline. But for the most part, if he's, he goes down, even if he's like this, or he's dropped his foot a little bit right there, I'm taking a middle, now if he tries to come up, now I've got this great angle. So taking a middle, set him up, and what I'm doing is I'm creating this perfect angle for the drop step. It's putting him in massive danger. So take a middle first, it creates a bigger, better angle for the drop step. And if he doesn't take it away, then I've got him. And we keep the game super simple. We always try to get our middle hook. They take away the middle hook, we've got our drop face on. Then, we add the fake drop, which is, in my opinion, the best fake in the post. Like every, you know, not many guys have the, the um, peace of mind or comfort level to remember to use it in the game. We work on it, work on it. It's like one of those skills that's hard to translate to get guys to really do much in the games, but when they do it, the success rate is very high. So, for example, this move here, come in, come in, little drop, come back, come bounce. That nine times, nine times out of ten, this hook is wide open, but we don't use it up. I'm always preaching our guys, okay? So, we go. Middle, move, and drop, move. Now, I don't want you to rush this. You don't have to take a massive step. It's a little step. Faking with the shoulder, coming back, on balance. Now going up. Okay? You got it, Tom? Here we go. Good. fake drop into an up and under, and then we go through those, and then we'll play one-on-one. -on -one. And they've got to, we'll have the block here, they've got to catch in the, in the post box. And I also put a scoring box right here. One right here, one right here, and then one right here, okay? So they, when, they, when we play one-on-one, -on -one, and they have to have at least one foot in one of these two boxes. So now they're not getting out here, they're not facing up. They've got to use either a middle hook, a pump rate middle hook, a drop, a fake drop, a fake drop, up and under. And we just keep it like that. It makes it very difficult for them at first, but then they start to get good at those moves and to the most important thing is reading their defender and choosing the right move. Same thing we did with the cones on the one-on-one, -on -one. then it was all about decisions and using which tool. And just trying to give guys feedback 
on, okay, yes, what should you have done there? No, you should have fake dropped and come back, and these kind of things, so that they get game-like reps. You know, we did it in Frankfurt um, with Gordy, and they do, obviously, a fantastic job of developing their big men in Frankfurt. Uh, we've seen that. And, you know, I was, I was very lucky to work with Gordy for a couple years. And we did that. We worked on post stuff. And this is the stuff we did with him. And we do it like 10 minutes a day and played one-on-one, -on -one, you know, four or five of those minutes. And guys got better. Like, it was unbelievable. And it's, this isn't magic, obviously. It's, I think, attention to particular details and getting reps and playing and giving feedback and having them think about, oh, what move should I have done? I mean, how many times we just play one-on-one -on -one and they, you know, they take a terrible shot and, okay, it's the next play. They didn't even think about it. They didn't get better from that. As opposed to, like, I, every time I say, hey, which move should you have used there? Or, you know, should you have used a pump? Were you off balance? Why didn't you make that? And so each time, now they're getting feedback to take it a little bit, little bit better each time. Okay? All right, that's all I got. Thank you.